What's up my sausages? And today I am going to be continuing the creeper tutorial and um, we are going to be adding the armatures and the weight painting as well as fixing up the model just a bit tweaking it and yeah before I do that I'm going to do this really quickly um, a few updates one school just started so I won't be posting videos as often because um it's I it started today and I already feel like this is going to be one hell of a year so um yeah that uh, I'll be working a lot and I'll I'll need to get in the habit of doing my homework right when I come home so I won't be do doing videos until like after dinner and all that stuff so yeah it's going to be a rough year but I'll get through it and also um I am working with slash for um a company slash group called Trayvane Entertainment, I believe it's called. Yeah, Trayvane Entertainment. And, um, uh, God, it's not good when you don't even know the, uh, the name of it. And, um, I am pretty much, we're making a game, and, um, I am, um, I'm working in two parts. I'm helping a really awesome YouTuber. Um, his name is Aaron Costain. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He has... A uh, channel called Aaron Kassain, and his main, I'm not sure if this is his main or substitute channel, Black Sun 3788 He does amazing music and all this stuff, and I'm um, eventually going to be helping him once I get um, the software from my dad, hopefully. Alright, and the other one, I might have talked about him in another video, Dennis um, H. 2, 2010. And he's do I'm doing modeling for him, like buildings and all that stuff and concepts. Not really the concepts too much. I'm just doing r random buildings that you walk through and pass. So yeah, I'm, I'm also doing that. So I am really busy right now, so I won't be doing videos that often. All right, now back to the tutorial. And one thing that um, I'm not sure if I forgot to do or I had to restart it and didn't do. We definitely, definitely need at least this right here. And also, what I'm going to do is um, I remove doubles. Move doubles here. So that's one. And that is good right there. We don't need that. that that's fine how it is because it's two separate legs. And here as well remove doubles so yeah ah, ah, but, but, but. all right so um wait no we need to do it on this side now remove doubles wait did i forget to delete a vertice here i don't think so yeah that's good and now we're going to be doing a default rig. I I am not the best at this, so please don't, like, I, I really am not the best. So we're going to be doing x-ray. You're supposed to have, like, your own um, block or, 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 I mean, armature for the entire body. But I really don't know how. <laughs> I am, even though I've been using Blender for about maybe a little more than two years now, I'm still a noob at it, which on some days really irritates me, but, you know, whatever. I don't know why this is all weird and stuff, gee, why, there, that's good enough. And, um, you're going to be shifty, road hate it like that and bringing it there shifty oh wait no um yeah all right i'm leaving it at this for now but i'm going to have to change it later i'm bringing this to the center as well That's good, I think. Shifty, bring it over there. And, um, 
we have oh I forgot to parent them control P keep offset control P keep offset control P keep offset control P keep offset there now that we got that we can um, do an automatic weight because I've um, tested this and this seems to be um, wor working fine parented at, with automatic weights and I'm I don't really feel a need to, to um, name the bones and rotate it like all right so there's a problem there because I forgot to do something that is really helpful and that is delete that bone shift D bring it up here and uh, bring it right there so now when we control P with automatic weights um, wait did I do that right pose mode yeah there of course now what we need to do is control P connected and bring that there so when we when we go to pose mode and do this we get a fully functional creeper head only there's a problem I'm not sure if you can see it but um, the actual bone goes twice as slow as the thing it that it is perfectly um oh weighted to so if you know the answer to that problem please um tell me and this is oh god i mean it's okay it's fine but um but this um right here because it's going twice as fast it, there's a problem so if please if you know the answer to that please tell me and so now what we're going to wait before I subdivide before I subdivide all right so um we don't want the body to move when I we move the legs the first thing we actually have to do or not ha the first thing we have to do but what works best for me is moving this right there and moving this right there also so when we go into pose mode it changes the um it changes the pivot point to right here and so now we have to tweak the weighting. Wait, no, first we're subdividing it. W subdivide, W subdivide, W subdivide. That's one too many. We don't need a high poly creeper. So, because, um, uh, Minecraft isn't high poly. So as you can see, this looks a lot better. Not the best, but it still looks better. Uh, yeah. And over here, whoa, whoa. Alright, and I'm going to check the time. I'll be right back for you. It's instant. Alright, I am back and I am snuggling with a puppy. Alright, and so we have this problem right here. Oh, my puppy left. And um, we're going back to the weight painting. And as you can see, uh, this is brighter up here. Um, I would check this box. To select, you you need to have it as this. But when I want to subtra subtract, this is what I use. It's, I, I really like this. I found out about it recently also. Uh, so now what we need to do is very roughly, but um, making sure that everything that needs to be there is still there we're going to remove some of the weight ah no darn it that was what I didn't want to happen so yeah we very roughly did that 
And so what we're going to do is move this 10 and subtract Uh, subtract that. Let's see if this works. Alright, ignore all that other stuff that's moving. This, this itself works fine. Fine for me, anyways. If you want a more high poly, or a higher quality render, then it's not fine. So pretty much I'm looking for at any and any slanted uh, things like this and this. Anything that's slanted is being affected by the um, weight. Alright, no. So we don't want any of this, any of that, blah, blah, blah. So if it's slanted and you... Um, it doesn't look like it should be part of the model, then um, subtract over it. Uh, I'm resisting the urge um, to sing a song that's been stuck in my head all day. That's annoying. Alright, now let's see if that works. Let's go into object mode. Ah. And boop. Oh, I, I kind of like that because it bends a little bit. That makes it, it just gives it a hint of realism. Hmm. Alright, so now we're going to do it for the other ones. And I think naming the bones would have made this a lot easier. If you don't know what naming the bones is, then... Uh, I would just stick with this method that I'm doing. Alright, now we're going to weight paint again. Subtracting this. And um, I am going to... Um, it, it's about d uh, done with the time, so... Um, yeah, it, I am going to end it off there. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks to... Um, uh, Aaron, God, I always want to say Aaron Cop Copland or what, whatever that guy is, because he was a composer. Copland, I, I don't know. Well, thanks to you, Black Sun. I, I'm not very good at remembering things for the music. And um, yeah, if the music was too annoying, please let me know. All right, bye.